So welcome everybody. My name is Alessandro Gambetti and alongside with Chiu Han, we will present the outcome of this paper. This will be the outline of the presentation. We will introduce the problem, we will explain the data, the features, we will fit a model, we will discuss its results and implications, and then we will formalize all the conclusions. So why do we want to do research? Well, actually, we know that social media platforms have enabled customers to resolve uncertainty and communicate with businesses before making purchase decisions. And especially this is valid in the restaurant industry. In fact, we see a, a cycle here uh, in which uh, customers ex ante look in these platforms for information seeking, but also when they had have their when they have their, their experience, they often leave feedbacks, often forms of ratings, pictures, reviews, and so on and so forth. So we know that from previous literature and that there are several studies that focus on demand estimation from social media signals. However, uh, how these signals can be useful for predicting service characteristics on the supply side remains unexplored. In fact, we will focus a lot on the price level that each restaurant sets. And what is price? Well, actually we know that price the fundamental antecedent of customer satisfaction. In fact, it influences loyalty and it's proxy for quality often. So uh, in few words, um, what's our business question that we want to investigate? We want to we need to know wh whether we can predict the price positioning of a restaurant like given its social media signals generated by a multitude of heterogeneous users that interact simultaneously. We will do so using the Yelp dataset uh, it is quite big. Uh, we sample almost 2,200,000 restaurants. Uh, this data set comes with 200,000 pictures uh, related to restaurants only and about 5 million reviews. And then the price level, as I, as I told you before, is our target variable. Uh, it indicates the average meal cost for one person and is divided in four classes, as you can see. So we have extreme budget restaurants, budget restaurants, quality restaurants, and then fine dining restaurants. So uh, in, this, in this scenario, social media signals are represented by pictures and reviews, and they come from the demand side. Uh, they come also in a, in a morphous and a structured fashion. And if we want to make them interpretable, we need to give them structure. In fact, uh, let me start from the pictures and from the visual features and we want to introduce the concept of aesthetics well basically photographic aesthetic assessments evaluates visual features at, sem at the semantic level related to emotions and beauty and the goal from this task is to infer from for each picture uh, an aesthetic statistical score that corresponds to the human perception and we will do that using deep learning so uh, we know that from previous papers, uh, for each picture, uh, we have rules, we have uh, dimensions from the photographic theory. So we score each photo with the rule of thirds, the brightness, contrast, saturation, and we do it differently. We propose a one take all static score from a neural network that it, which is in a range from zero to 10. And here you can see also two examples of what we mean by aesthetics. We do, the, we do, set, we do, we do that using the NEMA model. Um, it is a, a model from Google research. Uh, they basically train a mobile net V1 CNN on the generalist AVA dataset, uh, which is a dataset on, on picture aesthetics, uh, but with different sub subject matters. This is an example of the, data set, of the AVA dataset. Uh, you can see a beautiful picture uh, and, a, and a bad picture. Uh, so we use this model, we take a pre-trained implementation of, of the NEMA model, and we fine tune it on the GPD dataset, which stands for Gourmet Photograph Photography Dataset, uh, which contains only food related data. Uh, so we basically fine tune the NEMA on this data set. Here you can see an example of the GPD. Uh, an example of a big of a high aesthetic picture, an example of a low aesthetic picture. 
And this is the process of our fine tuning. Uh, so we basically take the NEMA model, which is this one on the left. And then we add a layer uh, with two neurons, one for beautiful and one for ugly. And we basically train, we basically fine tune the whole model on this new data set. And we take as an aesthetic score, the score, the probability of the picture to be in this, in this neuron here, the neuron of beautiful aesthetics. Then we will, we will also uh, look at the textual data. Uh, we have a lot of reviews and we use the LDA model, the latent Dirichlet allocation, because we hypothesize that reviews, thematic contents can be bucketized into several topics with, with each topic expressing one and only one concept. So what does LDA does in, in synthesis? Uh, basically LDA discovers topics in a, in a collection of documents and LDA tags each document with a probability distribution across topics. After training uh, this algorithm, uh, we come with seven topics as an optimal uh, number of topics. Uh, we do that maximize uh, the UMass score, UMass coherence score in order to find the optimal number of topics. And as you can see here, you can pause the video. You can see that we have a lot of interesting topics that capture a lot of different dimensions. So now we want to fit a model. Uh, so we basically take all the features that we have. So we have visual features, textual features, business features, and we average, average them restaurant wise. So for each dimension, we, we have an average per restaurant. Here I can remind you that we have a four classes multi-class classification problem. And our algorithm that we use is the gradient boosting algorithm. Um, it, uh, it is actually very convenient for imbalanced data set. And we basically propose a feature stacked implementation using uh, splitting the data in, into 80% training and 20% validation. And these are our results on, on the test set. So we basically have the, the model with all the features is the best one that out outperforms all the others with an accuracy of 78.42%. And you, here you can see that uh, precision and recall the weighted one are, are very balanced, uh, meaning that we have um, a sufficient number, a sufficiently balanced number of false negatives and false positives. Then we want to, to interpret these results from the model. And we use the SHAP uh, framework from Lundberg and Lee. And the idea of SHAP is that features are combined sequentially and all the marginal differences of each sequential combination represent the importance of a feature. So the higher the marginal difference, the higher the impact of a feature. And here you can see um, the shop that features importance um, plot. Uh, and as you can see, textual features are the most uh, relevant one, the, mo the, 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 the ones that have a higher weight in, in the model. And then we, we, we also, uh, for each like class, uh, we do a feature interpretation plot. I'll explain you how to interpret this. Uh, basically, the, the red in, in each plot means a higher value of the feature and the blue a lower value of the feature. And if the red is on the, on the right side, we have a positive correlation. And if the red is, is, is on, the, um, on the left-hand side of the plot, uh, we have a negative correlation. So you can pause the video now here to get your idea of what is positively correlated or negatively correlated for each class. Okay, so I assume you pause the video now and I will discuss some key implications, some key takeaways from, from SHAP. So we know that high quality leads to higher price levels. Uh, so $3 and $4. And this is true in the, in the two features, quality experience and hotel. You know that fast foods tend to be concentrated in the low are in the low price area, one dollar. Then we have regional cuisines like Asian food and Mexican food that are concentrated in the low price area. Uh, the aesthetic score. So now we are in, in the domain of visual features. 
is negatively correlated with the price level. You know also that a higher bad customer service is experienced in the budget restaurants. And now we, we jump into the domain of business features. The level of stars is positively correlated with $1 and $4 restaurants, while ambiguous for the other price levels. We also know that chain restaurants tend to be concentrated in the low price area. So to wrap up, uh, we saw that social media signals generated by users in the platform may help explain the price positioning of a restaurant. We saw also that, that, that the restaurant's price level can be predicted by amorphously generated information on social media. We saw that textual data had a large impact. Visual data have a, had, a, had a lower impact, but still not negligible. And we can explain everything with the shop framework. So thank you a lot for your time. And it was a pleasure to present here and best regards to everybody.